Here's a run through of the changes in the latest update of uh, 8.5.9. Um, first is do creating a new document. So class, create document, custom, um, and then digital planner, configure planner. Um, go to the tabs section um, and uh, auxiliary tabs and then set it to have a number more than uh, more than none. Um, otherwise it won't do anything. Um, then decide where you want the um, uh, top left, for instance. Um, then simple tab notebook and enable that. Okay, and then it, that basically eliminates all the calendar stuff and just leaves you tabs. So if we go with that, create, then I've got a tab notebook with that many pages um, with all the, the tab links work uh, as you'd expect. Um, next change is to do with symbols. Um, now, uh, if you had a folder of symbols on files, um, then <clears throat> it used to be quite a laborious um, uh, task to bring those stickers into uh, and create symbols out of them. But now you can um, just drag and drop the folder into um, Zoom Notes and that will bring in the whole folder with its name, with all the images in it. So there, these are the, the stickers that have been imported. Um, <clears throat> so that's that. Um, now, um, the new option for sidebar is that it doesn't need to be centered anymore. It'll, um, it's either centered or it'll, um, lock itself to a corner. It's basically the corner you drag it the closest to. Swipe over top left like that and you can get to that setting in main app settings, interface, um, interface section, sidebar centered or not. So I've got used to it being off so that's where I like it now. Um, <clears throat> The next change is to do with dark mode and dark mode editing. Dark mode on the device as part of uh, iOS turns the whole interface into a dark mode. Now that doesn't necessarily make sense for documents because they're a piece of paper or virtual piece of paper, they have a colour, uh, everything about them is very locked to that the original colour. Um, but what you can do is do a color inversion on um, the document color. So that's dark editing mode. Um, so if we go to the app settings interface, there's a colors section. Um, a couple of new options here, dark editing mode. So we can just turn that on and that will turn on um, the mode for um, all your documents. And what it does, it not only inverts the colors on each document page, it also um, inverts the colors um, so that they show up on a black background. Um, so all your pens, polygons, etc., will will have di slightly different colors, sort of inverted colors but they'll show up better on the black background. Um, but if you flip back then, um, so I'll do one of each of these colors, so you'll see what I mean. So there's a, a lightish blue, a red and a white. So I'm gonna go back here, turn that off. So the ink's now dark blue, a red and a black. So kind of the inverse. Um, 
Now the other option there was mirrors dark mode. So what that means is you can't adjust the dark editing mode. It'll just go follow whatever's happening on the device. So if I go here now, long press on that one, dark mode on. And go into this document. Okay, that's automatically gone into dark mode. Great, that's what I wanted. Um, but for some documents, you might not want that, uh, like this one. Um, there's an option to control whether it goes into dark mode or not, or not, at dark edit mode. So that one starts to look a bit odd in dark mode. Um, and it, indeed, without it being inverted, it's perfectly acceptable as a dark mode kind of option. Uh, so control that with document properties, color scheme, allow dark, uh, dark edit mode or not. Um, and the final thing I want to talk about is, uh, let's go out of dark mode. Um, is uh, fill area. Um, so we'll go to that one to start with. Now there's a new option here, create a filled shape. And I'll turn it off to start with and just explain what you get with that, with that off. What it's done, it's created a image to fill the area, so that's a kind of transparent image that's filled the area that you, you tapped in, which is nothing wrong with that. Um, it's worked like that for quite a long time now. Um, but with this option, what you get is something slightly different. I've actually got a shape. So if I click on that now, I could, if I wanted to, add a shadow to it or give it a border. And you see that's the reflected there, and you know another alternative is I change the color, so it gives you a bit of extra scope for manipulating the filled things after the event. Um, now the other option uh, advantage is when you come to fill it with an image, um, just do that and do it again. Um, so. Um, Fill that with that image and again create a filled shapes on. Okay, so that's done that. Now it gives a much finer resolution to the filled image within the shape. So um, if I undo that and do it again as the original one, we'll do it. And again, but the resolution's um, a lot lower. So the go back to a shape, it's done it. And again, the, the other advantage is that I can come in here and I can adjust the the um, the parameters again. Um, so it gives you a bit more scope for adjusting things um, effectively. 